In just the last hour, Aurora, Colorado police announced the firing of several officers who posed for photos and reenacted a neck hold at the memorial site of Elijah McLean months after his death. 23-year-old McLean tragically died after being stopped by officers, put into a chokehold and injected with a strong sedative. He'd just been walking home from a store wearing a ski mask. Let's bring in NBC News correspondent Gabe Gutierrez in Aurora, Colorado. Gabe, what are we learning? Uh, hey there, Nicole. Well, yes, as you mentioned, those pictures were just released within the past hour or so. Two pictures taken in October. The interim police chief here in Aurora says two of the officers in the pictures have just been fired. A third would have been fired, but already resigned earlier this week. And then a fourth officer had gotten those pictures in a, in a text message and responded, quote, ha ha. And she said, that's why all four were fired for conduct unbecoming. Now, right behind me, you can see a news conference is underway by the family of Elijah McClain as well as local activists. Many of the folks here want to see criminal charges against the officers. The interim police chief just wrapped up her own news conference a short time ago. Take a listen. We are ashamed, we're sickened, and we're angry. While the allegations uh, of this internal affairs case are not criminal, it is a crime against humanity and decency. Again, back live here in Aurora, Colorado, a protest, a larger protest is scheduled for later on uh, this afternoon. And we just received a statement from the police union calling the internal investigation a rush to judgment. And the union is actually saying that the police chief is unfit for the position she currently holds. So certainly a lot of raw emotions right now. And we think we see Elijah McLean's mother just down there about to speak as well. Of course, the family is furious after seeing those photos for the first time earlier today. Mm. Nicole. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.